Hello, nobody, and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. Uh, I'm playing solo this time, going in on my own. Uh, I got this character the other day, the, uh, the Engineer. I don't know what he does, but I figured uh, we'd check him out. On normal difficulty, when Kai and I played in that first video, uh, it was on uh, easy difficulty. But this is Rain Storm. What I really want to do, uh, my camera's a bit lower now than it was last time. Uh, there, I have these lunar coin things. Whoa. Hmm. Um, I don't know what that did. I don't know what any of this does, actually. Whoa. Uh, I have lunar coins, which are like a really rare currency. And with those, you can eventually, if you get 11 of them in total, you offer one to a shrine, and then you can unlock a, a character, which is actually just the, the last character I need. So I really want to try and do that while we're playing this new character in this new difficulty. Let's see, so shift is how I did this. What, what is it when one of them comes in here? Is it gonna... Nope, it's not, it's not gonna do anything. What is, what is that? I don't... Probably should have read this character's abilities before I uh, started. Do I not have actual, like... Oh wait, oh wait, I drop a turret and is this gonna fight for me? Yep. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. I gotta find some chests or something. It increases attack speed. I don't really have an attack. Oh wait, that's my my mouse one button. Whoa, okay, so I charge it up and then I, I spray, I see. That's really, really awful for fighting enemies in the air. I should place a bunch of turrets around the, the boss. That's probably a, a good strategy. Paul's go to move faster. Okay, never seen that before. But I guess we gotta go fast with our little uh, jetpack, rocket, booster, speed things. I don't know what to call them. Okay, cool little chest right. Oh, there's a there's a shrine up there. I think that's the shrine of the mountain. Shrine of the mountains make it so that there's two bosses, but you get two of whatever the like reward item is. So it's actually pretty worth. It. I think I'll, I'll activate it since it's the first boss and. We're still in the easy difficulty. Gotta get these last couple of chests, because it looks like there are a few, but I'm gonna drop my my turrets here first, since I can let that recharge while I get this other stuff. That's that's thinking ahead. Okay, I'm gonna play I'm gonna I'll place this this little guy right here. I'm gonna drop one of these, throw down one of those. I don't know what any of this does, but I'm gonna start. Okay. What's the boss? Oh, it's a stone titan. Is there only... Oh, no, yep, there's two. There's two. So that is how this works. Hey, are you attacking my my drone? How dare you? How dare you do that? Ah, there's... there's now there's guys right here. I'm going to drop another one of these here. Maybe my... Uh, maybe my... Whatchamacallit? My shift thing. Maybe that helps heal or, or strengthen drones? I'm not sure. Let's see. Come on. Come on, drones. I need you to, to really pick it up. We got to do a lot more damage. Whoa, okay, one of them just took a lot of damage all at once. This one is it's dead. Okay, that one's dead. Cool. This one, I'm going to drop another another one of these turret boys right here. And nice, that one's dead. Oh, that, yeah, that really was not particularly hard. And we get bandoliers, which, what do they do? Chance to drop, uh, oh, a pack that reduces, ammo pack that reduces cooldown which will be nice for my turrets, because they'll be able to get those on their own. Well, that actually went surprisingly well, which I appreciate. No lunar coins, though. We're still at eight. We got to get up to 11, because it costs 10 to buy them and one to get there. I'm going to drop I'm gonna drop a turret right on top of this bridge over here. I, I feel like that's a good spot. If I drop them on both sides, and they can just, like, watch both sides. Yeah, drop that one there, and this one here. Got to fight this this fella coming for me. All right, so I think the right click is like a bomb that'll hurt anything that gets ne gets near it. It's good to throw in like a group of enemies, it would seem. Um, whoa, yeah, okay. Those ammo packs with the bandoliers are really nice. Never really paid attention before, but it took me from like 15 second cooldown on my uh, my turrets to just having them available. Hmm. So that's a blood vial thing. That's a old war stealth kit i believe and this is oh the feather the feather is one of the best items because it lets you double jump which is like the best ability because it just means you can get away from stuff easier anything that helps me run away is is a-ok -okay in my book
Whoa, I just... Oh, I think you can only have a certain amount of those down, because when I placed this turret, this other one disappeared. Can you only actually have two at a time? Hmm. That's kind of... I don't, I don't approve of that, if that's the way it is, because that would be annoying. <laughs> Let's see, once this charges up, if I place this... Um, yep, it, it does just kill the other one. Hmm. Alright then. So I guess you can just place them so that they uh, are closer to where you need them to be and have, like, full health. What is this? The crowd funder. Toggle to fire. Costs gold per bullet. I think this thing does, like, a, just a lot of damage, and that's why you would want to spend money using it. It's really good for, like, bosses and stuff. You don't want to use it on, like, mid-tier enemies. Maybe I do, actually, since I, uh... Eh, turn... Hey, stop. I guess you have to, to toggle it to, to start and stop it. Good to know. Looks like I've gotten pretty much everything, so I think it's time to go fight the boss. Oh, wait, actually, this this is kind of great, because, uh... So let's see. Oh, yeah, I want to throw some stuff in there. These teddy bears are awesome, because they just let you, like, totally deflect damage, like, incoming damage. So I, I'm definitely willing to sacrifice some stuff to this. I really hope, just hope I don't give away my, my uh, goat hoof, and, yeah, I just want to give away one bustling fungus. I think there's an achievement for getting uh, five of the, or up to seven of the same item from a printer, though. So I, I'm, this is an achievement run now, okay? That's that's what this is. So did I start with one one teddy bear? So I need one more. Yep, maybe maybe one more. Duplicate same item seven times in a row. All right, now we have a lot of teddy bears, and I'm just gonna be invincible the whole game. So that's cool. This teleporter is like half in the ground. That's very strange. Clay Dune Strider. It's the giant bug boy. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna. Whoa. Uh, okay, I gotta try using shift to protect my turret. Does that heal? Oh, it, maybe it heals the turret. Yeah, it looks like it's it's healing it. Okay, that's that's good to know. So the engineer is really just about building turrets wherever possible and uh, letting those get all the kills for you. All right, this is the the second world I'm gonna complete without getting a lunar coin. It would seem. I need how, I need three of them total. Yeah, so I'm at eight. Haven't found any. I'm gonna do it this time. You'll you'll see. You'll see. Wow, a 2:30 chest right next to me, right off the bat. I'm gonna go stand out in like a very open place and drop my turrets and just kind of let them do their thing. I think a lot of these characters, like, really work best in a group. They just kind of all have different things. Like, obviously, this guy is good, good for putting out turrets, not great for, like, killing tons of adds on his own really quickly. And he's, he's pretty good at that, but, you know, there's better. Uh, fast, yeah, I want to go really fast with the engineer and just, like, be dropping stuff all over the place. I'll go question mark. I'm always a fan of random. Oh, yes, even better. Got it. I'm just going to go real fast this time. Oh, Paul's Goat Hoof. I don't know why it's giving me tons of speed items this time, but I'm, I'm really not going to complain because I want to go fast. Another Hoof. I am I am just, like, cruising now. Crit Glasses, Crit Glasses. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to go for the Crit Glasses, but I want another Hoof. I, like, I'm going to go so fast that stuff's just not going to be able to hit me. That's the goal. All right, boss fight. Here I come. I'm going to drop another little healing thing right here into this. We're fighting... Oh, a magma worm. I really don't think that the drones are going to be great at this. Maybe that. Maybe they'll be excellent. I don't know. Oh, the magma worm is dead. I'm killing these bosses really fast every time. Go me. Leeching seed. Cool. So now my drones can earn me health as they fight fight my enemies. Whoa, what is... What was that? There was just a big blue nexus thing. That was very strange. Is this the, the devil world? This is my favorite world aesthetically. It's just, like, really nice. These gold chests over here always have really good loot. Wow, oh, there's a magma worm attacking me right off the bat. So that's just lovely. This thing costs 3,000. Yeah, they're real expensive, but they're usually pretty worth it. Oh, yes, another feather. I'm just gonna... Just gonna, just gonna jump around everywhere. I want this to give me not a crowd funder. This is the oh, this one lets you. This one lets you fly. Yeah. <laughs> now I can fly and I have extra jumps. I can go very far now. 
Oh, here's the, the boss fight. Which I probably want to do that before it gets too insane. So I'm just going to go find some items real quick and then, then hop on that. Oh, there's another... Okay, there's another gold chest over here. Both of them, 3,000. Yeah, I'm going to be be camping this world for a bit so I can get both of those. I really want the, the crit item. Nope, not three crowdfunders out of these chests. Like, what's even the point? Yeah, I'm going to fight the boss now before it gets to uh, impossible difficulty. Ah, I dropped that on accident, and it's only on one of the guys. Greater Blazing Wisp. I think... This boss should be pretty easy. He's just like a one big guy. He just kind of flies around. So my my turrets will be able to kill him pretty easily. And my missile drone will have an easy time. Yeah, this, this is an easy boss. Wow, I expected the big teleporty demons. But no. Whoa, both of my turrets are almost dead, which is not good. i drop this to heal him. Ah, my missile drone is about to die. What? How did How did that happen? Did the boss just, like, focus it, like, exclusively? Okay, we have we only have 1,000. That's not even enough for one of the gold chests, but I want two of them. Whoa, there's another one of these those things. Is that just, like, a certain, like, type of special enemy? Like, there's, like, frost enemies. Are there, like, electric enemies that I've just never noticed before? What I'm hoping for is that there's one of these, like, uh, shrines, like, of, I don't even know what they're called, like, a challenge shrine or something, that, like, they'll spawn, like, a boss, but... You can get a lot of money from killing the boss and the en other enemies it spawns. Yes, one of these. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to drop both of these guys here. Activate this. What I get? Summoned brass control. Oh, it's just these guys? Okay, easy easy enough. Let's throw that onto them. Okay, yeah, these guys are like already dead. Oh, wow, that, that last one gave a lot of money. Okay, I want another one of those those fight shrines. Okay, I'm definitely not going to wait around long enough to get uh, both of these gold chests, because that would take forever now that the enemies have mostly stopped spawning. So I'm going to have to to guess and choose one. Something good, please. This is senti oh, sentient meat. Oh, chance to hook all nearby enemies. It'll like drag all the enemies together and damage them, I think. I got this once, like a really long time ago. Not a really long time ago, probably in like my second game, the one I played after recording the video, and it was really nice. All right, so now we've looped, but have not seen another lunar coin, which kind of blows. Okay, slow, oh yes, another hoof. I, I'm gonna be so, so speedy. Oh, there, here's the boss up here, but I don't know if that means, was that the, yeah, that was the mountain, okay. There's ones that like, shrines that give you like half health. I don't know what the purpose of those are. But I've never activated one and don't plan to activate. Throw down the health. What's the boss? Wandering. Oh, it's the. Oh, there's four of the squids. Oh, oh there's five? What? Whoa. How many are there supposed to be normally if there's five after activating this shrine thing? That is insane. Oh, yeah, they're, they're taking so much damage, and I think it's mostly because of uh, my meat hook. Ah, both of my drones are dead already. What? What is happening? This is a big problem. Okay, bosses are dead. I only got two things. Okay, they're both health things, though, which helps since uh, I just lost my healing drone. Oh, this is a Shrine of Chance. I haven't seen one of these yet, but I really don't need anything from it. There's an achievement to, like, use it three times and not get anything, but I already have that achievement. And like I said, we're achievement hunting today. I don't even remember what achievements I said I was going for. Oh, energy drink, extra speed? Yep, that's the one. Once I get enough money, apparently I don't have that right now. Whoa, did they, wait, do they heal themselves with my, uh, my, whatchamacallit now? My, what's it called? The, uh, the leeching seed. I guess they heal themselves with the leeching seed. That's really nice. All right, should I have no enough money for this energy drink? Yep, way enough money. Oh, man, I am just so fast now. I'm quite the fan of the engineer. If he, once you uh, get start getting items, he gets really good. But at the beginning, he's kind of hard since he's just like doesn't doesn't have a whole lot going for him as a default. Whoa, there's a chest buried in the water here. I guess that's why I should have been should have been looking for. But oh, yes, another hoof. <laughs> I I am so fast. I just want to be faster and faster and faster. I wonder what the fastest you can be is. It's probably just like I don't know something ungodly. 
Oh, I just noticed we're in like the hardest difficulty, which is the one that's just a bunch of laughter. I think after this, it like it only gets harder as you like progress to the next level. Is that right? I don't actually know how the difficulty in this game works. So I'm kind of making stuff up. I guess I can try spending my money here because this can give you items. Nothing. And nothing. Am I going to get the achievement again right now? Drop these while I'm doing stuff. Rewarded. Cool. Okay. Foreign fruit. This will heal. I'll actually use this as opposed to like the, uh, the chrysalis, which I just really never had a, a reason to use because I was never that low on health. Oh, whoa. They, they heal each other because I, ha I have the, the whatchamacallit, where if you stand still, you start healing allies. So I can stand here and be healed next to them. Well, if I stand, I also heal them. And they're healing each other. Wow, that's just awesome. It seems like if I just put them close enough to each other, then stand in the middle and drop the, the healing thing for them, like, they're just kind of unstoppable, really. Drop those two right there. Activate this. Come stand right here. Cause look at how much damage I'm, I'm restoring. Throw this down. And they just decimate this these stone titans. Oh, wait, that's the, sto that's the actual boss right there behind who no one's actually shooting uh yeah i can just like kind of tank this guy's w whole laser beam if i'm standing in there wow that is that's aw awesome okay they're dying real quick now that they're being focused by the boss and there's only one standing around but the bosses are already almost dead so it like really doesn't even matter let's get out of there for a second so i can restore this this drone whoa you're just spawning in me i don't approve of that Drop him right there, throw that down, spawn him, and then just stand still and let them let them destroy these guys, like, completely. This one's dead. The other one's just kind of standing over there. Oh, he's, he's targeting me. I don't want him to target me. Yep, you, you do that. Wow, he, I am... I'm not going to say unstoppable, but I am just crazy powerful now. Oh, ukulele? Nice. And his music was electric, so now I get little arcs of electricity that do damage to stuff. Okay, Engineer, once you get him, like, once you get some items with him, he becomes just amazing. Still not a single lunar coin, though, but, uh, whoa, reached 300% movement speed. Cool. Alright, maybe this isn't so much a, a lunar coin game, so much as a just kind of destroy everything as Engineer game. Engineer test game is what this this is turned into. Oh yes, another ukulele. Oh, I'm gonna drop these guys right here, so they can fight some stuff. But uh, I I don't really need to get more money at the moment. Oh, even faster, even faster. I don't even know what I picked up. Try tip dagger, but I am just <laughs> crazy fast. Gnarled wood sprite. What does this do? Heal over time. Activate to send an enemy. Okay. I'll take healing over time over any of the other things I've had so far. Hey, what's up? I'm just tanking a ton of damage because uh, that's I, that's all I have to do. As soon as I drop a war banner, I do even more damage. I'm just I'm just making money by standing here. It's kind of the perfect gig. This is ener oh yes, energy drink. Whew. All right, time to fight the boss. After I kill all these, uh, <laughs> I after my turrets kill all of these buffalo. Just yeah, look at all the lightning coursing across everywhere. It's, it's a beauty. Imp Overlord, please. More like Gimp Easy Lord. I don't know. That was a bad insult, clearly. All right, everything just heal each other constantly, and we'll be good. We'll be good. Well, yeah, very good. Very, very, very good. One of them's dead. The other one is about to be dead. And I am only at 30% of this being completed. This isn't even on the easy difficulty where, uh, where I've spent most of my time in this game playing. Wait, what? There's like a thing here, but it's it's covered by the, the ground. All right, it's unlocked, but yeah, I can't. Oh wait, open cloaked chest. What? There's just an invisible chest there. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that's always there. If there's like all, if, I wonder if there's a random chest in every in every world, and the easiest way to find it is just to like run around when you have the boss activated and like can only like can see the little claws on them. I don't know. Oh, a hoppo feather. I'm not even going to bother showing you the uh, the items I get that aren't really good. <laughs> I could probably just, like, walk away for a couple minutes and come back and just be fine with tons of money. Maybe, wow, wow, I'm taking, like, a bunch of damage all of a sudden. 
Something was hitting me hard. Another hoppo feather. Okay, y'all gotta... I keep saying y'all. I don't know why. I'm not from anywhere that says that. I've never been anywhere that says that. They're all dead. Yeah, I have, I have 10,000 now. Hey, gold chest. Costs 12,000. I actually can't buy it yet. I don't even try to, like, fight enemies anymore. I just lead enemies to wherever my drones currently are. Ah, uh, oh, happiest mask. Chance on killing an enemy to summon a ghost. Yeah, so you kill something and then it can come fight for you. And it's pretty awesome. Oh, I have yet to find another golden chest. Oh, uh, speak of the devil. It's a frost relic. Killing enemies surrounds you with icicles. That's pretty cool. I, I assume the icicles, like do damage and aren't just aesthetic, but I don't know. Well, I'm, I technically I'm taking damage, but <laughs> I'm just healing it all back so fast from my two drones and all the, the turrets stuff that doesn't doesn't seem like I'm taking much damage. Wow, I'm taking like, I'll take a big chunk of damage and then, then nothing. What is, the, what is this? Prion accumulator? This is, oh, this is a thing that I unlocked uh, quite a while ago. That, yeah, it, it like you shoot that, and when it, it hits something, it does tons of damage. Like it was really annoying to unlock, but I never never got too much use out of it. But now I have three charges of it when fully charged, so I gotta go find the shrine and uh, destroy the boss. Stone Titans should be easy enough. I don't know how much damage this thing's gonna do, but pff, a lot. That thing does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Wow. Yep, they're already almost dead because of mostly that the. Uh, accumulator thing I have and one of them is now working for me well that was kind of pathetically easy if I'm being completely honest and there's nothing to buy here so I'm just gonna go I can't go it's only at 24% okay there's a boss over here that I would like to fight I might just start the actual boss fight right away uh, no I won't I'm gonna put a turret right here where it can watch over turret right here where it can watch over Drop those right there. Trigger the boss so it starts coming over to me. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, ugly. Yeah, over oh, you over there. Oh, there's one back where I spar spawn, too. And a stone titan back there. I just heal so quickly when I'm standing here. Anything that knocks me out is pretty much the biggest threat to me. Still have yet to see a single lunar coin. I don't think I ever went uh, this long seeing a single lunar coin in any of my other runs. Nothing, two nothings in a row, three nothings in a row. That would have been an achievement if I didn't already have that achievement. Extra crits, seven. That's seven of the crit item now. Oh, another hoof. Huh, huh. I want to test my speed, but I, I guess that's the last use of that shrine. <sighs> I am just, I don't know, so, so fast. Nothing can keep up. Nothing, nothing. All right, time to do the boss fight. All right, what what do we got? What what's on that ah, swarm mother? Okay, these things can drop a, a very cool item, which gives you the uh, the bug guards that I had in the first video. But with my little like cannon on my shoulder and my turrets, yeah, they're just like I don't know. That wasn't even a challenge. Oh, there's still there's still one alive way over here in the distance. I killed those first three too fast to even notice. Last one's hiding from my drones. <laughs> <laughs> what a little soy boy spider queen. Ukulele. Okay, I'm gonna go sprint around and look for a hidden chest. I really want to know if one of those spawns in each uh, each world or not. Alright, I scoured the whole map, and there was no hidden chest here. Sad days. Overloading lesser sprites or wisps, is that what it's called? I don't know what overloading means in its name, but okay. Oh wait, I have a lot of these like little uh, little mines I can throw. These these things. I just noticed that I have like eight charges max. I've been using them like individually this whole time. Oh, another hoppo feather. All right, I'm gonna set all my boys up right here. Uh, look at that money. Okay, I'm gonna go leave for a minute. I'll be right back.
A few moments later. Am I live? Oh no, I died. Ah! Ah, I actually died when I got up. Oh, genuine surprise. How did it happen? So that's how. Okay. Well, let's look at the stats. Yikes. Alright, I was alive. 78 minutes. That's an hour and 18 minutes. 180 kills. My hands are covered in chocolate. Only 180 kills? That seems really, really low. I, I, it probably doesn't count my turret kills as my kills. Damage dealt almost a million. Most damage dealt 29,000. Uh, damage taken 27,000. So almost as much as damage dealt. Highest level 25. Gold collected 185,000. Ah. Items collected 105. Nine stages completed and 126 purchases. Achievements, maybe one more. Uh, oh, it, unlo it unlocked time. So that's the one for printing. Uh, that's a monster log and going fast, which spawns a bird, apparently. Oh, uh, well, that was... <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of sad that I died when I walked up. I was kind of convinced of my own invincibility, I guess. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. The engineer is kind of amazing. If you don't just get up and leave, he, uh, he can kind of destroy everything. So thanks so much for watching. See ya!